We see your presentation right now. Um, thank you so much. Um, in Turkey, the definition of rurality continues to change and different criteria have been uh, employed to distinguish between rural and urban areas. In 1924, uh, the major criteria was population and settlements having a population lower than 2000 have been defined as rural and settlements with uh, 2000 and 20,000 individuals were town and having a population greater than uh, 20,000 was accepted as uh, urban place. Um, yes. And in uh, 2012, government reformed the administrative structure of Turkey and declared 30 provinces having a population higher than uh, 750,000 individuals as the metropolitan areas. So uh, the rural population of Turkey declined to uh, 8 percentage from uh, 23 percentage. And the uh, important keyword is rural youth. And the United Nations defines people between the ages of 15 and 24 as youth. The world population today uh, is a significant portion of them. Uh, they are young people and Turkey also has a, a young population. And uh, rural youth uh, refers a youth segment also referred uh, to as in Turkey village youth. Uh, in rural settlements or the youth living in the villages, which are common in these settlements, have certain characteristics in socio-economic and cultural terms. Uh, rural youth is generally in a disadvantaged uh, group, uh, disadvantaged position compared to uh, urban youth. Uh, also, rural youth education is another important factor. Uh, education helps people uh, become more knowledgeable about the world, more sensitive and understanding of their relation to it, and more eager to contribute the civilizing process. And the formation of educational and occupational aspirations uh, is integral to education, uh, enabling students to better understand who they are and how they can function effectively for their own well-being and for the betterment of society. Uh, in the world, three out of four people living in poverty and suffering from hunger live in rural areas. And this data emphasizes the uh, extent of rural poverty caused by factors uh, such as lack of employment and opportunities, uh, limited access to services and uh, infrastructure, uh, and conflicts over natural resource and land. So uh, landscape planning uh, is important in that point and landscape planning has been defined as forward-looking actions intended for developing, improving or recre uh, recreating landscapes in European Landscape Convention. Uh, in the area where landscape planning will be done, first the ecological functions and process should be understood uh, and the interaction between nature and human beings with the landscape should be set forth to support landscape plans. And uh, as a result of current socio-economic problems in rural areas and migration from rural to urban, we face the concept of rural uh, development. And with the understanding of uh, rural development, sustainable development, landscape protection and landscape planning is seen as the most appropriate way to help the development of, uh, of rural societies. And uh, in uh, the study, uh, the study area is uh, Düzce, and uh, study area consists of the villages of Düzce, and uh, uh, this area is rich in natural and cu cultural landscapes, and in addition, it's a tourism center. Uh, it's uh, between the uh, two metropolit uh, metropolitans, Ankara and Istanbul. Uh, it's a, a daily trip uh, distance. Uh, in my study, uh, I gathered data uh, to choose the uh, five sample villages. So I used uh, topographical maps, forest management plan, uh, Turkey Statistical Institute data, and uh, 
information from the area, uh, the local headmans, uh, nature tourism master plan, and Duce uh, province development plan. Uh, then, uh, with the scope of the study, five sample villages with different income sources, different geographical conditions, and different population uh, profiles were uh, determined from the rural areas of Duce province. So, I used ECOS, uh, ECOS method and specialist ways to choose the uh, villages. Uh, and oral uh, interviews were made with local people. Identified villages, the plain village, forest village, mountain village, and a uh, wetland ecosystem uh, villages. And the uh, villages types are, um, I choose uh, by location, uh, how far uh, to the digest, the center, agriculture, forest, or small scale industrial villages, ethnicity, migration rates. Uh, I evaluated these factors uh, for uh, choosing the um, uh, villages and during the interviews, educational opportunities, social life, uh, rural to urban migration, accessibility to the city center, and transportation conditions, quality of life, education opportunities, and approach to natural ecosystems uh, were tried to be evaluated. Uh, I explained the ECOS method in here and I used the uh, references. Uh, for the method. Uh, here is the uh, method. Uh, I listed uh, the, all the uh, villages and the uh, method uh, components. Then uh, I choose the five sample villages to make interviews. Uh, when examining the table one and table two, it has seen that Aydın Pınar village has been determined as plain village. The villages of Konaklı, Dardin, and Güzeldir have been determined as, for, as forest villages. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, is it okay? Yes, it's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, so, uh, I couldn't make a slideshow, I think. Uh, I've Prepare. Yeah. Uh, the um, Uzalda village represents the settler of Black Sea. Konakli and Dardan villages represent the Caucasian original settlers, and uh, Haji Yakup uh, village represents Georgian original origin settlers. And Aydın Pınar is a settlement with mixed uh, ethnic origin settlers in the area. Uh, the uh, village of Aydın Pınar is the most popular uh, populous village in terms of population, and it's the uh, richest village in terms of ethnic ethnic diversity. And uh, there are also lots of tourism uh, sources in Aydın Pınar. And Dardan village is uh, 21 kilometers away from the city center, and its elevation is uh, one meter. Uh, the population is uh, 355 people, and uh, the village is resembled Caucasian uh, settlement. So five, uh, the villages are uh, different from each other. Um, Konakla village is seven kilometers away to the city center, and it's uh, located nearby industrial area. Uh, Haji Yakup village is located um, 15 kilometers away from the center, and uh, it's located close to the uh, wetland area, wetland uh, ecosystem. Uh, Güzaldere village is 28 kilometers away from Düzce, and it shows the uh, Black Sea type settlement characteristic, and the locations of the houses are located on the sloping uh, terrain. And uh, I use the migration movements uh, from uh, Turkey Statistical Institute, and we can see the migration rates for Düzce. Uh, we can see rural uh, population growth uh, for a city and in uh, rural areas, and some of them were under uh, zero. 
uh, youth education in Düzce. Uh, education is very important for a significant portion of the people living in rural areas to achieve sustainable rural development. Educational extension activities to be carried to rural areas with the scope of both formal and uh, long life, uh, lifelong education will cause acceleration. Young people in rural areas are among the disadvantaged groups. Formal education and technical education opportunities of youth living in rural areas, especially girls, uh, are extremely limited. Uh, this now has more serious consequences, especially for low-income former families, also uh, forest uh, villages. Uh, rural youth uh, at a very young age have to work for a long time during the busy seasons for family uh, work, work phase as family work phase. And in the seasons uh, when there is no work, in reality, there are unemployment. And in the study, it has been also that the cultural diversity of the uh, Caucasian and Black Sea communities living in Duja rural areas. So in this context, it has been emphasized the necessity of protecting the uh, original lifestyle, different folkloric elements, and it's recommended to develop ecotourism activities in the uh, region. Uh, there are festivals, carnivals, uh, nature conservation areas, walking paths, trekking, hiking uh, areas. Uh, in this way, the preservation of cultural values, the quality of life uh, of the rural youth and the level of well-being will be increased. And in the research area, uh, the most important problem of social life is the intensive migration and the rural youth uh, population decreasing gradually in the settlements. And uh, local products uh, specific to these cultures should be diverse, uh, diversified, and branding uh, studies should be uh, initiated. And uh, Duzce has an important potential in the young population, a significant proportion of young population in the rural areas. And these young people are forced to migrate from the countryside due to reasons such as economic difficulties, insufficient educational opportunities, difficulties in um, employment opportunities, and lack of a, a place to spend their leisure time. Uh, from this point, education and broadcast work for rural youth uh, has a particular importance. And the uh, uh, proportion of young people in these villages is quite low. Uh, when the population structure of the villages uh, is evaluated, it's seen that the average uh, age is uh, 50 years uh, and over. It should be ensured that the young generation who will continue these cultures in the region take the active role in uh, rural developments and this study uh, which was conducted for Düzce are important in understanding the importance of rural areas across Turkey and Europe, providing a, a providing of local specific features, bringing alternative sectors such as ecotourism or organic agriculture by the frame of landscape planning and rural developments. And uh, thank you for your patience.